all right so we are quite near to the exam we only have few days left for the exam and like every year i'm making this video once again because i want to emphasize on this thing that part a section a of your csi net exam is actually very important it's actually very crucial section of your exam and it is often overlooked because uh, people all, always like uh, look upon this section as something which is maths oriented or something which is typical something which is very difficult and it is time consuming so that's why people just uh, overlook upon it especially i'm talking about those students who are not from the maths background uh, chemistry student who have bio background and then life sciences students they generally overlook this section and they don't even solve a single question of it they try or they think that whatever time i will invest in part a i will invest that time in my part b and part c of the exam but this actually is not correct and uh, section a is one of the most important section because this section gives you a time to think about it apart from your subject and when your mind is thinking about a, sub, a particular thing monotonously let's say if you are a chemistry student if you are solving questions of chemistry and if your mind is continuously doing that and once you like after doing that or before doing that if you do some aptitude related question your mind actually start working in a much efficient manner so these are some other things or some other factors or some other importance of part a but let me tell you from the exam perspective that why exactly this is so important so section a contains 20 questions out of those 20 questions you have to do only 15 questions and every question of part a is uh, containing like it contains two marks if you do it correctly and it gives you 0.5 minus marks if you do it incorrectly which is same as what is the scoring pattern for part b so that means on the scoring pattern part a and part b are on the same level whatever score you get uh, from section a questions same score you get from section b or part b uh, questions and not like you don't have to do all 15 questions of part a so, uh, part a contains uh, 20 questions you have to do 15 but you don't have to do 15 even if you are doing 5 to 10 questions of part a okay and out of those if we, let's assume that out of 10 questions your seven questions are correct and three are incorrect then for those seven questions you will get 14 marks and for three incorrect question you will get minus 1.5 which will eventually give you uh, 12.5 as a plus marks as a bonus marks so that is what or that is where it becomes very important to do questions of party because it is always going to give you some bonus marks out of it it is not going to take marks from you it is going to give you some marks out of it now part a is not difficult as i was telling you it is going to contain 50, uh, 20 questions out of those 20 questions two questions will be from graph based means graph will be given you have to read the graph you have to answer questions based upon that reading of the graph so that is one uh, that those are two types two questions will be there from that then two questions at least will be there from geometry basis like uh, basic geometry angles uh, like triangle and circle properties of that uh, those type of questions will be asked so let's say if you are not from the math background but still you must have studied those things in class 8th or 9th if you just think of it a little bit you will be able to figure out the answer then two to three questions will be there from logical aptitude uh, which only depends upon reading the question carefully so if you read the question carefully if you read the terms or if you read the uh, the uh, conditions which are given in the question you will be able to solve them so uh, this is how you are like you are already done with seven questions out of it then rest of the questions like it depends upon basic mathematics depending upon just direct formula based like area of square area of circle basic uh, like area related questions then basic ratio related questions are there then uh, there is a speed related question so i have made a revision kind of video i'll give you a link of that uh, the link will be there in the i button you can click on that and you can watch that video in that video i have covered all the important formula which you need to solve uh, aptitude related questions so i'm not telling you to mug up every formula but just watch that video so that you will recall all the formula because it is like all those formula will not be totally new for you they, they will be like you have studied it somewhere but you are just going to recall it once okay so watch that video carefully and uh, after that video and i have also given you a download link in that video itself you will be able to download all the formula sheet and in that way it will be easy for you to solve questions like you will be able to do even more questions from earlier now let's discuss that how much time we should give for part a see there are two types of people one who have good command over section a or good command over aptitude type of questions if you are one of them you should give at least 30 minutes not more than 30 minutes but yeah 30 minute is uh, some time which you can invest on part a 
तो थर्टी मिनट्स फॉर पार्ट ए फॉर दोज स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गुड और हु थिंक दैट दे हैव गुड कमांड ओवर सेक्शन ए हु हैव गुड कमांड ओवर एप्टीट्यूड पोर्शन लेट से सम वन हु इज नॉट हैविंग गुड कमांड ओवर सेक्शन ए और हु इज नॉट गुड एट एप्टीट्यूड रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन स्टिल यू शुड गिव ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू पार्ट ए ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ए लाइक फ्रॉम द ओवरऑल एग्जाम यू कैन टेक आउट एंड डेफिनेटली यू आर गोइंग टू डू फाइव टू सेवन क्वेश्चन करेक्ट इफ यू इफ यू गो थ्रू एवरी क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली ओके सो इट्स नॉट एट ऑल डिफिकल्ट इट इज वेरी इजी ऑल इट नीड्स इज टू रीड द क्वेश्चन इट ऑल इट नीड्स टू जस्ट गिव ट्वेंटी मिनट ऑफ यूर्स इन द एग्जाम सो दैट इज वॉट आई आई विल जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज डोंट लीव पार्ट ए बिकॉज आई हैव सीन दिस एंड सी दिस टेन टू फिफ्टीन मार्क्स विच यू आर गोइंग टू गेट फ्रॉम पार्ट ए let's you are getting just 10 marks from part a those 10 marks can be the deciding factor between your net and jrf because the cut off difference between net and jrf is 10 marks who knows if you are just net qualified if you would have done five questions from part a 10 marks from part a you can get jrf also right so that consider that point and uh, consider this section a as a bonus point which is going to give you a score now many of you might ask if when we should do part a in exam whether we should do in the starting of the paper or we should do it at the end of the paper or we should do in between of the paper so uh, for this it is all up to you you all must have made your own strategies you all must have made your own ideas your own uh, way of solving question paper and i will make a video on it that how to solve question paper so that uh, you don't miss questions at the end okay so that video will come up tomorrow but uh, for this or for now what you have to do is either do section a in the starting or do it at the end don't do it in the middle because in the starting uh, you have fresh mind you will be able to do a lot of aptitude related questions and at the end the advantage of doing at the end is like uh, you have you have already done whatever chemistry related questions you were about to do now you have time you can invest it in part a so both like either in the starting or at the end both have their own advantages both have their own disadvantages but it all depends upon what strategy you have made uh, for your exam like what you have thought of that this is the way i am going to do in that way you can incorporate it but don't do part a in between because that will just break the flow of doing chemistry or whatever subject your subject related questions it will just break the flow of that and that will not be good for your entire uh, exam uh, like uh, experience so either do it in the starting or do it at the end that will be the uh, like appropriate uh, like uh, time to de devote for part a but definitely give at least 20 minutes to part a if you are not good at it uh give at least uh, 30 minutes to uh, to part a if you are good at part a i have made a entire playlist on uh, general aptitude related questions you can watch that you can go through that and uh, that will also going to help you a lot so that's it for this video i just wanted to make it because every year i uh, like i tell this and every year after the exam i get to hear that uh, students have either either overlooked it or they have just left a uh, part a question they have not solved it so it is always recommended to please at least go through the questions so that at the end of the exam uh, you are actually gaining out of uh, like from part a at least you are getting 10 to 15 marks so that's it from my side for this video uh, if you have any questions related to section a related to aptitude related questions how to solve them and all so you can ask that in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there itself and that's it from my side thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n_huda that's it for this thank you so much